Hey, welcome guys in the tutorial of SOLIDWORKS so in this advanced tutorial of SOLIDWORKS we are going to see that how can you make belt and pulley assembly so first of all uh, we are going for we are starting with the part as like part file in that part file you need to draw the frame on which we are going to set the pulley and the belt so click on sketch go to, uh, go to sketch select the front plane before that select the units inch per second and then center rectangle I'm then selecting this center make this frame give the dimensions so let's say this is um, 5 and this is going to be 15 and then extrude this with uh, 1 inch okay so that's the frame now click on this go to normal view and then okay go to normal I think it's better to use the front face uh, okay so uh, let's delete this and let's delete the sketch also Okay, so we are going to use the front plane click on this and then go to normal and click on sketch now draw that this um, rectangle give the dimension so this is 5 this is 15 and extrude this 1 inch now it looks fine and then uh, click on this go to normal and click on again right click on this go to sketch and now draw the circles along the center line like this one here one over here go to smart dimension give the diameter as one inch so the diameter is one inch and give the dimension so let's say this is 5 unit from the center of this and from the base it is going to be 2.5 so we need to fully define the this diagram that's why we need to give the dimensions okay now go to features and extrude this and let's extrude this four units like this okay so now you can see this is going to be our um, frame so save this as a frame part file now go to file click on new go to assembly so there's assembly here is the frame is already open click on this and click on tick mark so we have inserted the frame now we want the pulley so for that go to toolbox so I haven't had the toolbox inserted so click on add in now so now it's inserted click on so change the unit to IPS now click on this inch and change go to power transmission go to chance sprockets and let's choose silent larger sprocket you can choose anything but let's choose this one drag this while holding this Okay, so now we need to give the property so chain number you can see if you change it you can see that we are getting this thing like uh, how the this uh, sprocket will look like you go over here you can see it's increasing the thickness like the the, the width of the teeth is increasing so let's start with this the basic one s302 Oh, so I'm going to teach you the pulley, not the sprocket, not the balance chain. <laughs> okay, so um, let's close this. So for pulley, uh, go to power transmission, go to timing belt pulley and click on this timing belt pulley. Yeah, so for pulley, we need to take this timing belt pulley. 
Yeah, so we are going to make the balance position, not the chain end. Okay. So we have dragged that. Now you can see that you can have this belt which like XL, MXL, large, H, XH, double XL. So it depends on the size what you want. So let's go to XL and then width is 0.38, flanged, unflanged, number of groups, hub diameter nominal shaft diameter so here is one like this and uh, hub diameter you can change this to one overall length let's change it to two okay and then click on this so now you can see that you got this warning could not find face so if you got this warning what you need to do um, click on this right click on this go to edit toolbox component and it says that the warning so for that you need to change this thing uh, make it uh, 0.5 and overall length make it okay, 4 and let's see so it says that uh, key sky could not find the face or plane so you can see that where the error is I'm getting it's it's over here so that means I need to extend this word there so right click on this go to the toolbox component and now let's change this to 10. one hub diameter I think will not change anything but let's see and that has to be one but um for all length Okay, let's make this group a little bit larger because I think that's the way we can uh, get that thing. So let's make it 4 or oh, 44 and now you can change the overall length. Let's say 5 and if let's see we can not find the face or the plane. Again we need to edit this component okay yeah so now I'm getting this thing so hub diameter now is 2 let's make it 1.5 okay now I think it's thing. so let's make it 2 like this okay so now if I take this it will not give me any error so we need to make this something larger okay so now it is done and then we need to uh, like uh, select this and hold the control key and uh, drag your mouse by clicking this like copy okay so now we have copied this belt like the uh, we've copied the pulley and now we want to mate this so for mate go to mate click on this mate option like click this inner circle then the outer the circle and make it cocentric then this face and the face of this of this shaft and make it coincident now if you can see you can move this look like it's rotating okay same do do this for this for this pulley so the inner circular uh, the inner circular area then this make it concentric and then this surface and this top surface make it coincident so now this uh, pulley has been mated with shaft as you can see Okay, so now we want the belt. For belt, go to insert, go to assembly feature, go to belt and chain. So now 
as this is the pulley you need to select this top surface of this pulley so select the top surface of one of the pulley same do for this select any top surface like this so now you can see you have got this belt which is uh, wrapping around like this way click on create belt part and if you can use belt thickness give it the thickness which you want like this 0 0.14 0.25 you can see that the thickness if you don't want to give it will stuck at this thing it depends on you what thickness you want so let's give 0.01 I just give it you, you can just you can't you also can't use this one okay so belt length uh, driving that uh, it's like doesn't need it so and then just click on this green tick mark Okay, let's save this assembly belt pulley and okay whatever so it has been saved so now we got this um, belt but you can see that we can't see the belt over here so for that what you need to do on this thing go click on this belt like uh, this arrow and um, enlarge this and then uh, click on this belt go to sketch click on edit sketch now go to extrude so you are extruding the belt like this but you can see we are extruding on the half plane so go over here click on the mid plane and now you can see we are extruding all over the face of the pulley okay so it has it's already has selected the automatically the width click on this so now click on this the thing is that it hasn't been done the good thing why because it has extruded all the way over here so what you can do uh, let's select control C or put edit feature Okay, and then go to okay I know why I'm getting this error because the belt thickness is not we don't getting the belt uh, belt thickness for that so what we can do um, let's close this I don't want the extrude let's delete this so now uh, click on this have this this part belt thing click on go over here go to edit feature and use belt thickness okay and now click on this and now go to sketch click on edit sketch and now go to features and shoot this okay go to thin feature now over here you can see that I'm getting this thing Okay, so now we swing in one direction here select like the mid plane because I want all of the way like on the both the sides and then decrease this let's go five and this looks fine zero 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 five now it's very thin point zero zero one Let's make it 0.05 to see that we have it. Okay, so now click on this tick mark, and now if I go like on this, just click on this thing, and now you can see that I have this belt, which is pretty awesome, just being fine. And now if you see that, save this file, and then what you can do if you rotate this, you can see that that pool is also rotating like this. So that means the belt part has doing its good job. So now in order to study this motion, like you study the motion of this pulley, what you can do? Um, go over here, click on this motor, 
just like this it's removing as it's rotating that the 500 rpm click on this and if you play this you can see that this is also moving like so you are driving this you have driven this motor so in this way you, you can um, make this a uh, bad play system in SOLIDWORKS easily by following these steps. I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Wiseman, thank you.